when it comes to barring, you know, or you, you could do as a little bit of a, uh, an exercise for yourself, is just go onto the sixth string and the fifth string and just get super clear about the natural notes, that is alphabet, alphabet notes in a linear progression on each string. So you start from E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. It might be just that, just a simple reminder mm. that that's where they are, right? On the A string, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Then you start to think about maybe three different open chords that are E and A chords. So when we're thinking about A, we've got A major, A minor, and A7, which is just the four with yeah, the open. those chords are familiar You've got those, yeah. yeah. So then you would take B minor as the first port of call. You just go there, you got your B minor, your B major, your B7. Then you just then you just run it around and say, okay, well, where's F? Okay, F's there, you know, where's C sharp? Oh, well, that's in between those guys again, right? So then you find, and you just find a bit of familiarity with that. So pick anything to say F sharp seven, and you go to F sharp and you build the F sharp seven chord, which is just like the A7 chord, right? And then you go A, and A minor seven too, you know, because back here, or A minor, when you yeah. see A minor seven, it's just that, right? So you got the A7 with that third string open, A minor seven. Same when you get here, you've got that third string going back to the first finger, and you just change that one note, you know. So you just experiment with all that, and, and then you start to get a sense that, yeah, okay, I've got that whole family of chords against any root note I want at any time. You know, so, so, so that's, that's that family taken care of. Then you go to the E, and you've got E, E minor, and E7. And then maybe, you know, G might be the first chord of chord. The minor and then the seventh. And then you're on the sixth string root note. You just, you know, you pick something and you go there. C sharp, minor, minor seven, seven, major, you know, B flat. G sharp, F sharp. And then you know, then then you kind of feel like you got all that covered, right? So then basically when you think about it, you've got the whole chromatic scale, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, G, G sharp, right? You got all those guys, mm. yeah, in, f say, four different chords. Is that still going? Yeah, yeah stop it. No, 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 that's keep fine. Going. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so four different, yeah, so we've got... A major, yeah. A minor, A minor 7, A7. Mm. That's four times your 12 frets. Every fret you can do that on, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, really. It's that simple. <laughs> Every fret you go to, you go to the first fret, you do exactly the same thing. They're all different chords. Yeah. They're all B flat chords, so they're all different. Then this is going to be B. You've got the major, minor, 7, minor 7 again. whole mm. bunch of new chords. So suddenly you've got that sort of 68 chord, you know, four times 12, mm. right, on that. Then you go down here and, it, you know, we're sort of doubling up now, but the same thing kind of applies. You know, you've got these four chord shapes against that E string root note, you know, that all relate to the E, E minor, mm. E7, you know, even E minor 7, yeah? Yeah. And so there's not really a whole lot left that can, you know, if you come across a, a song and it's got a B flat major to a G minor to, you know, to a, to a D minor seven to an E flat major, well, that shouldn't be a problem anymore because really you just use that simple logic again, you know, and you don't get stuck back here mm. trying to create open chords out of things. That, you know, you go and you just use that basic logic that, you know, B flat major has to be that, G minor has to be that, you mm. know minor e minor shape against there okay what do they want they want a d okay to keep in the same area maybe i go to d on the fifth string they wanted a minor chord okay i'll, I'll create my little minor shape there and then they said e flat okay well that's weird but that's d e e flat oh e flat major okay i can make my major chord shape just like my you know it's just going through that process mm. you know and not being not being too sort of spooked by it because it's really just yeah. that simple you know but you've just got to build it up from the ground up by just getting clear about those root notes, 
yeah. and what those shapes are in each of those families. Mm. And then you just start moving them around, you know, and that's the whole thing taken care of. When it came to inverted chords, let's make another one for the chord yeah. inversions, yeah. 